Between you being in the internet, I want to share with you my secret, my best way for you to be effective on this thing that we call the online marketing. Are you ready for it? YouTube. That's right, I said it, YouTube. This thing that you, place that you are probably watching this right now is the best way for you to create your content. I very rarely talk about YouTube here on this channel, but that's about to change because I truly believe you can simplify, you can streamline all of your online marketing in the most effective way possible if you're starting and creating your content from YouTube first. Yes, there's the tickety talks and the reels and all the social platforms and doing all these crazy things, but YouTube stays consistent. YouTube stays tried and true, and YouTube allows for you to have a base of content to create from, and I'm gonna outline and show you exactly how to do that in this video. All right, so when it comes to YouTube, it's a matter of creating one long form video and using that video as the foundation, the pillar, the frame of the house, if you will, for all of your content going forward. So this is how I create my content and this is how I teach other businesses to do it as well. I work with dozens of clients that do this. In fact, I teach a masterclass about how to use YouTube to get leads with this exact same structure, but it's a whole four hour thing. And if you want to check that out, definitely go check out the Digital Summit series because I partner with them to create this masterclass. But to give you a basic idea of how this works, I wanna show you how you do this, how you can make this work, because I promise it's super, super, Easy. So the first thing you wanna do when it comes to YouTube is you have to figure out what do I need to make videos about. Now if the list isn't working for you or if you need to expand upon the list that I provided for you, what you're gonna do is spend time figuring out what's the right keyword for me to be using to be effective on YouTube. So keywords, if you don't know, is like the phrase or the words that people are using to find you. Now in the olden days, we would stuff all of our videos filled with lots of keywords and try to optimize it and, and trick the internet into thinking that we know what we're talking about. But where we are currently now when it comes to YouTube is you need one, you need one keyword or phrase that you can use as the foundation of what your video should be about. And this is important from search perspective, but also is important for like your channel's perspective. So YouTube kind of knows like what your channel is about and what you can do, especially because you're focused, you know exactly who you're talking about and what's going on. So for this video, I talk about social media marketing as my keyword for this. And then I created my title around it based on that. So once you know what your keyword is, you have to create a killer title. A title is what's going to make people look at your video and even consider it. And then once someone is kind of like interested in your title, what's really gonna make them click on it though is your thumbnail. This is the two-parter of any video to make it successful. It doesn't matter how great your video is. If you don't have a killer thumbnail and a great title, ain't nobody gonna click on it, right? Which is why I hope you are here. You're here because, mm, I wanna know how to be effective in this thing that we call the 2023 universe of the internet. I wanna do this, I wanna be successful and have my life made easier. And that's what I hope you felt when you saw my thumbnail and clicked on my video from my title. So you have to have those two things working for you together very clearly. I then am going to encourage you to outline your video. Now this video that I'm recording, I have an outline of what I wanna say, but I also know exactly what I wanna say because I teach this, I love this, it's my own personal method in which I do everything and it works really, really well. You do not need to script this out, you wanna have conversation with your camera, with you, with me and you having this conversation together. Like that's where this happens. And so you need to make sure that you are outlining what you wanna say so you hit your beats, but also so that you're not sounding like some boring monkey who doesn't know what they're doing or saying, right? So it's finding that delicate balance and I know that you can do it. And then we wanna hit record. Now, what does your girl use to record besides the camera and stuff? I use StreamYard, who's a sponsor of my video because they're the best. Now, most people think of StreamYard, they think of live streaming. And I think that's a great place for you to go if you're live streaming. But what I mainly use StreamYard for is recording my videos because I love that I can be in here in StreamYard, I can share my screen, I can add my text, I can do my stuff. I use it for when I do interviews and things like that. It gives me like a hub online, like a backup in case something happens to my technology or my computer, I can always go grab those videos. And so it works really nicely. So if you're looking for a very easy way to record your videos that works really well with whatever technology you have, StreamYard is the place for you to do it. And of course it's free, so. Go do the thing. Now, once you have recorded your video, you can either choose to upload it as it is, or you can send it to an editor or a tool or a program or a person to kind of streamline it for you. I encourage you if like you are new to this, you're kind of stumbling through and your outline was a guy, but you're like, I still uh, uh, um ummed through it. And I said some things I messed up or I sneezed. By having the editor in place or the tools in place to take that out, it's gonna be really helpful for you. But now you have a completed video. You have this great thumbnail that you created and you can do this with the tool like Adobe Express, which has tons of thumbnails 
thumbnail designs existing for you to choose from. You have a great title, you have a great video, and boom, you've created your content. So now what? You've published it onto the YouTubes, and it's gonna sit there forever, being relevant and awesome, and I am so excited for you. But now what? How do we make more from this? How is this possibly my pillar? Well, this is where the repurposing game comes into effect. And I don't mean repurposing like, okay, take my link and put it everywhere. I'm talking about like the strategic steps of what we're going to do next. So once you have created your YouTube video, I want you to turn that YouTube video into a blog because two reasons. One, you've done all of this work to create this really great video that is optimized already on YouTube with a great title and keywords and has a great description that reinforces it. So use that same exact kind of base to create the blog on your website. There are tools out there like rev.com where you can charge $1.25 a minute to transcribe your video word for word. Then you just reformat it, embed your YouTube video, use that same title, use that same thumbnail, and boom, you have a blog for your website. And it is so important for you to repurpose your YouTube videos into blogs because 25% of people prefer to read than watch a video. Like there are still people out there in our video age that are like, you know what? I can read faster than I can watch your video. I can skim through and find the part that I care about the most, right? Sometimes it's not a place where I can watch a video, so I need to be able to read it. And also, also, a blog with the video will always outperform a blog that does not. So if you're talking about a Google situation where you're Googling, you know, social media, video marketing or something like that, you wanna show up at the top, but you can show up there multiple times. You can show up there for your video and then for your blog post. And that's what we want you to do. So now that we have a blog post and now that we have our long form video, now what do we do with it? Well, we're gonna make an email. We're gonna send an email to our list with our brand new spanking video and be like, hey, go watch the video. Or if you don't wanna watch it, go read about it in my blog. So you have a base of your email content for that week or for that month or however frequently you are creating your video content. And then with that piece of content, you're gonna be able to go to Pinterest and you're gonna create some Pinterest pins again using Adobe Express because they have a fantastic library of super relevant and trendy Pinterest pin ideas ideas that you can use. You can create those pins and you can backlink them to your YouTube video and to your blog post. And if you're sleeping on Pinterest, you are solely missing out on some great SEO opportunities. Again, the point of creating long form video is that it keep working for us. Put your videos into other evergreen systems like Pinterest. So now that the SEO and search part of our strategy is done, now we need to head over to the social side. So with this long form video, we're going to create other short form vertical videos. You have the ability actually in YouTube to create a clip of your existing video. So you can basically just take the YouTube video that you created, make a clip of it for YouTube shorts and boom you have a vertical video. Or if you wanna be a little bit extra fancy, you can take your video and you can put it into a third party tool, again, like Adobe Express, where you can like edit it down and do stuff what you want. You can use a tool like Descript to do that exact same thing. And then you can add like your animated closed captions. These are kind of extra little bonus things that you can do. But again, Adobe Express makes it easy for you because you're kind of already in there because it's where you made your Pinterest prints, where you made your thumbnails for your YouTube video. So it's might as well just keep going with this tool and what it has to offer. Once you have those clips, then you're gonna go and you're going to repurpose them to all the places. I want you to watch this video after this video that I have for you in the cards and know about how to repurpose your content super super de duper easy with a tool called repurpose.io where you can take your one video and it will auto post it to all of the places for you to TikTok, to LinkedIn, to Pinterest and beyond. Now, we talked a lot about video, but there's still a place on the socials for other forms of content, including images and photos. So I want you to consider creating other graphics from your video. This is where you can like kind of quote yourself. If you have like steps you want to share, if you want a story you want to tell in sequences, you can do like a carousel post. You can create vertical videos. You can create story images images to share on Instagram and Facebook stories. You have other options of what you can do from a graphics perspective from that video. Again, the video acts as the base for you. So you can get the information, you can get the quotes, you can get the statements from this video and turn those into graphics for social sharing. And remember, you can use Adobe Express to do this as well. So now you've created a whole bunch of content that can be used for your content calendar for every week that you're posting a video. So the best recommendation I have for you for growth on YouTube and reach is to post every week. But even if you just post once a month or twice a month, you can still create a lot of supporting content with that one video that you made. And then you just fill in the gap. And these filled in the gaps piece of content can be relevant industry information. They can be extra stories and Instagram reels that you make. They can be other graphics, they can be other posts, they can be holidays, they can be promotion sales. There's so many extra little things that you can do to fill in the gap while this YouTube video acts as the pillar of everything that you do. So use your YouTube videos as the foundation, as the house of what you're doing with your social content so that you can have success. And then use that one piece to trickle down and repurpose into other things. This is literally a work smart, not hard situation. Let YouTube simplify
amplify what your content calendar needs for you to have success. Now, when we're creating our videos, going live is one of the easiest ways for you to create your content. So I want you to watch this video right here. I'm gonna share with you 10 ways that your business can be using live streaming to have success. And watch this video right here because YouTube thinks you are really going to like it. And until next time, I will see you soon.